Now we're going to put the manual controller on. The, uh, this particular one, the cover comes off. We've got a screw in the bottom. We, we put the screw in first, slide it down, then we can um, lock it with a screw up here. Whatever type of controller you're getting, there's going to be two screws on the back labeled red and white, and you connect the red or white wire to them. So uh, I'll connect those right now. So we connect the red wire in here, like so. Now, whenever you're connecting any wires like that, you always want to you always want to bend the wire so that it's in the direction that you're screwing the screw in. That way, it can tend to tighten rather than loosen when it comes out. Okay, then we put the white wire in in a similar manner. Remember, so that when you twist it, it's in the clockwise direction. Now, we've got, we've got the wires connected. It's just a matter of mounting the uh, controller on the screws we have designated here. Okay. And then we've got to put a screw, screw in to hold it. I'm going to put the screw on the top. We want to guide the wires out. There's a little, little notch in the top for the wires to go through so that when we tighten the screws, we don't, we don't pinch the wire. So I just slide those over. And then we have a little white cover on this particular model that just snaps right over the top. And that's a button to open and close it. So now we've got the controller installed and it's all connected and we're ready to fire it up and do some testing.